Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to locally install this Sol LM 7 billion parameter model, which is world's first model, which has been tailored to the legal domain. I did an introductory video on this model just yesterday and today, courtesy to the creator of this model, I was able to get access to it and I am going to show you how you can get it locally installed on your Ubuntu system. You can do the same on your Windows system if you have a GPU card and Python installed, but I prefer Ubuntu because it is way more easier to install it there. Now before I show you the installation steps, let me give you a very quick short overview of this awesome model. This model comes with a proper thorough research and I will also drop the link to its research paper in the video. This Sol LM 7 billion parameter model is a model tailored for the legal domain. With 7 billion parameters, Sol LM 7 billion is the first LLM designed explicitly for legal text comprehension and generation. It leverages Mistral 7 billion architecture as its foundation and it has been trained on an English legal corpus of over 30 billion tokens. Sol LM 7 billion exhibits state-of-the-art proficiency in understanding and processing legal documents. The researchers also present a novel instruction fine-tuning method that leverages legal datasets to further enhance Sol LM 7 billion's performance in legal tasks. Another cool thing is that Sol LM 7 billion is released under the MIT license, which is quite permissive. There are a lot of things which are scattered throughout this awesome paper and I would highly suggest that if you're looking to privately and locally impl implement a legal LLM, then you should not only implement this model but also read through this document which is simply amazing. Now this model and its approach focuses on extensive pre-training using dedicated legal corpora from English speaking jurisdictions such as USA, Canada, the UK and the Europe plus most of the South Asian South American countries also follow more or less same sort of jurisdiction. So this model in my humble opinion is applicable throughout the globe. Leveraging the pre-training on a large and diverse legal data set both scraped by their team as well as from previous literature, this LLM Sol LM 7 billion aims not only to comprehend the complexities of legal documents but also to adapt to the evolving nature of legal discourse. So if you are a legal practitioner, lawyer or however you are associated with legal profession, I believe that this is a must have. Okay, enough of the theory. Now let me go to my Ubuntu system and show you how you can get it locally installed. On my Ubuntu system, I am using one GPU of 16 GB VRAM plus my memory is 32 GB of RAM. And I have plenty of disk space because you would need at least, I should say, uh, let me show you how much disk space you would need. So these are all the tensor files. So you would need around 10 and then uh, 14, 18 and then like around 26 to 27 GB I should say you should have at least 30 GB of disk space in order to get this installed properly because there are 6 shards of this model ok now let me log into my Ubuntu system and show you how to get it installed this is my Ubuntu server where I have one GPU installed and I am running Ubuntu 22.04 let me clear my screen. Another thing which you need to do is to make sure that you have few of the prerequisites installed such as transformers. I already have them installed. So if you don't just simply do pip install transformers and maybe you would need accelerate and also the torch. I already have all of these installed so I'm not going to install them again. Let me fire up my python interpreter. There you go. First thing we need to do is to import the torch library. Let me do it quickly. That is done. Secondly, we need to import some of the modules from transformers library. That is also done. Let's specify our model name with the hugging face repo. 
and this is a sol lm 7 billion one instruction fine tuned let's set the cuda device because i am using gpu if you are using cpu you would have to put cpu here but this won't work on cpu you would need a gpu for this let's download the model let's wait for it to load and i already have loaded the model it took me around half an hour due to my download speed so this one it is just going to load the model on my gpu with checkpoint shards and checkpoints are simply the weights and all the configuration of the model so it is loading the model's checkpoints let's wait for it to come back should it take too long it depends upon of course gpu's memory my gpu memory is only 16 gps vram so it's not that huge that is done thankfully and if your gpu won't won't be coping with the memory requirement you will get out of memory error here then let's load our tokenizer which will convert text to the tokens okay the first uh, now let me put a prompt here so what i'm going to do here i'm going to use the prompts which are designed to elicit detailed nuanced responses that showcase the model's understanding of complex legal principles case law and procedural norms so you can see in the first prompt i am asking it that please summarize the key principles established in the landmark case of marbury versus madison and its impact on the concept of judicial review in the united states highlight how it has influenced subsequent legal judgments now pass this input to tokenizer which will convert it into tokens this text and then let's send it to model to generate the output and i'm just setting the length of output to 300 just as an example now let's wait for model to generate the response it is a local model and of course it, it is taking a bit of a time because of my uh, resource constraint the more beefy your system will be the more quicker you will get the response okay so model has come back now let me print the output there you go so model knows about marbury versus medicine case 1803 and it is saying that it's a landmark case in the us that established the principle of judicial review the case involved a dispute between william marbury an appointee of president john adams and james madison and blah 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 and then it is talking about supreme court by the chief justice john marshall ruled in favor of marbury and then look at the last paragraph it is saying that decision had a significant impact on concept of judicial review it has been cited in numerous subjects subsequent legal judgments including cases such as brown versus board of education 1954 how cool is that let me clear the screen and then we will give it another legal prompt so i have cleared my screen let me give it another legal prompt where i will be asking it to explain the difference between civil law and common law system focusing on their approaches to the statutory interpretation and the roles of precedents provide example of countries that follow each system so we have given it the prompt now let me convert it to tokens with the tokenizer and then i'm going to send it to model to generate the response and then we are going to print the output let's wait for the model to come back the model has returned let me print the output there you go so it has it is telling me about the civil law and the common law system they are two distinct legal traditions this is a civil law and this is a common law how beautiful is this awesome let's clear the screen now let me give it another legal prompt in this and i'm checking different legalities at nuances now in this one i'm asking is discuss the legal implications of breach of contract including the types of damages that can be awarded and defense available to a party accused of breaching a contract 
use relevant case law to support your application now let's send it to tokenizer first to convert it to the token and then we are going to generate the response so I just pasted it everything together and then i'm going to print the response let's print it there you go so it is telling us breach of contract occurs when one party fails to fulfill their obligations and then it is saying in general there are two type of damages that can be awarded in a breach of contract punitive damages and addition uh, to damages and you can see how comprehensive and how focused tailored the responses of these model are simply amazing you know superb job by the researchers really can't uh, praise them enough for the fine tuning let me clear the screen Now in the next one, I am asking it that analyze the doctrine of duty of care. In negligence law, using the case of Donahue, Hugh, oh, sorry, I can't pronounce it properly versus Stevenson as a reference point. Let's send it to tokenizer. And then, okay, I just reinitialized it. That is fine. Let me give the input tokens let's generate the output tokens and then we are going to print the response let's wait for it to come back the model has returned let me print the response there you go so it is telling us about the doctrine of duty of care and all that stuff and it also knows about this case of donna hugh and Stevenson, 1932 look how old that case is but model Still remembers and also it is discussing the implication of that decision and all the uh, contractual relationship and all consumer manufacturer stuff let me clear the screen and let's grab another prompt now another prompt is also quite interesting it is about patent um, application and criteria for patentability now again let me send it to my input tokenizer and i will generate the response and let's wait for it to come back and then we will print the output and while we wait for the output please remember that this is not a legal advice or anything this is just a model for the educational purposes you still need a lawyer or a legal assistance if any there is any legal matter and i'm no, no legal expert at all okay now let's print out the response here there you go so there there are you you have this patent application which is a process of obtaining uh, legal protection for an invention and all that stuff and then it goes into the detail of what exactly you need and what is non-obviousness what is usefulness and all those legal nuances which i have no idea about by the way if you're a lawyer or paralegal or any legal professional please also share your thoughts about these outputs because you are the expert let me clear the screen let me give it one more prompt here i'm asking it explain the principle of double jeopardy and its exceptions within the u.s legal system and let's send it to tokenizer then let's ask model to generate the output and then wait for it to come back and then we will print the response model has come back let me print the response here okay, let me grab my commands again there you go so now it is telling us that the principle of double jeopardy also known as rule against double jeopardy is a fundamental legal principle that protects individuals from being tried more than once for the same offense okay i didn't know that good stuff so that is awesome let's try out one more toxic prompt and then we will call it a day now in this one i'm asking the model that i broke the traffic signal mistakenly and a red light camera caught me i received a fine of 750 dollars is there a legal way to avoid by paying the fine let me send it to the model model is generating the output let's wait for the model to come back should be interesting to see if model is able to guide me uh, for any legal loophole 
or as they say in legal terms i guess legal lacuna yeah so let's print out the response hmm so wow okay so model knows it so it says yes there are legal ways to avoid paying the fine however it is important to note that the legalities of these methods may vary dependent upon the jurisdiction contest so certificate mitigate circumstance hardship deferral program insurance and then it says it is always advisable to consult with a traffic attorney to understand your rights and stuff <clears throat> how cool is that now you can have your own legal you know advisor here but as i said again you, this is not the replacement of a lawyer or a attorney so that's it guys this is how you can install it locally and how can you play around with it with the different legal questions and you can already see the quality of the model is simply paramount i think this is one of the best fine tuned model i have seen in a while and at the end huge shout out to pierre colombo who uh, pointed me to his model and he actually informed me that the model is available here and he is one of the brains behind this model so if you go to the paper and go here th there you go this is the guy which i just showed you on linkedin and there are other researchers too who have done equally wonderful job so that's it guys i will drop the link to this paper in video description please let me know what do you think and especially if you are from legal fraternity let me know your thoughts if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please do me a personal favor and share this among your network as that helps a lot thanks for watching